Hello, it's Wednesday, July the 15th. One of the great privileges of my role as school chaplain is to look after our school chapel, which is up on the fourth floor in the very point of the building. And this week, I've, as I've been back in the academy, I've been tidying up and sorting out various things. And when I went back in, of course, everything was just there as we'd left it back in March during the run up to Easter in Lent. And at that point, we'd been running prayer spaces. It's something we do every Lent and every Advent. Students had been coming up during their RE lessons and having a chance to reflect on all sorts of different things and they would write their thoughts and prayers and hopes and dreams and leave them as an offering. Uh, for some it was prayer, for others it was simply an expression of their thoughts. And I love reading what our students write because they're really inspirational and quite moving. Two of the questions that are really striking um, are the one about what do you want God to help you with? And people ask God for help in all sorts of areas of their lives, being confident, being more themselves. It's really amazing to read what our students put. But then the other question about hopes and dreams. Many people talk about their career aspirations or their hopes for their family or their hopes for the world. But the one that stood out to me when I was looking at them yesterday was this, I hope that I'll always be loved. And today as we think about the future and continue to sort of look towards the future, I hope that we can step into the future knowing that God's love is with us, surrounding us. I grew up as a Christian and learnt lots of songs about God's love. I remember one as a child that talked about God's love as being wider than the widest ocean and deeper than the deepest sea, uh, that God's love was like that. And there's a verse in scripture in a letter that was written to the early church about exactly that. Let me read it to you. I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. So I suppose it's like a blessing that each one of us would know God's love in all its fullness to overflowing. Here's a prayer for today. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love for us and for the whole world. Help us in whatever circumstances we find ourselves to know that your love is with us, strengthening us and filling us it's greater than we can even understand. And we pray for our students and our community that each would know that they are loved and precious. In the name of Christ, amen.